my name is Dr. Sandra Coltimadisi, and I am really excited about what we're going to be talking about tonight, and that is travel, uh, like spring break travel essentials. I know that there are so many people that are either planning on going on spring break or doing some sort of staycation, and so I wanted to let's just talk about it. Let's just go into it and get into some of the items that I have on this list. Now I put a lot of items on this list and I am about two minutes um, late in starting, but I did want to make sure that I talk about the majority of these on the list. And some of them might not be things that you were expecting to be on the list because spring break, you might think, oh, South Beach, Florida. Um, but sometimes spring break is more about getting back into harmony with yourself, right? And that might be something that you just need to like to relax and staycate right where you're at. I know that sometimes um, kids are at home during spring break. I have two little ones of my own and I will be masterfully trying to figure out what is going to keep them active at home to keep them, you know, stimulated as far as their brain, make sure they're doing some, you know, fun homework, if you will, and projects and activities. But let's get into some of these items before we have to go. I have about 20 minutes with you and I want to make sure that we make the most of it. Definitely jump into the chat if you have any questions um, about any of these items. And I am going to start with one of the ones that I use all the time. And I know that if you're anything like me and you want to take some really fun footage of yourself on vacation, um, you're going to want to use one of these. And this is um, one, of the, one of the best things I ever bought. And it is for your, you know, bathroom. Um, you use it and you basically it comes open. It's called the Shaw phone holder. And you put it on, let's say any surface, right? And you then screw it in like that. And it stays in place, whether it's that bathroom uh, counter in the hotel. Um, and then this is where your phone goes, right? And then you put your phone into place right there. I absolutely love it. Um, I have it on my desk. I wish I had two. I probably will get another one just so that I have one in the bathroom, one in the, or maybe two more, one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen, and one right here on my desk. It does not leave my desk because I just pull it in it does this it's like you can turn it i mean i think this is fantastic so um it's on here right now it's selling for 15.99 i would grab one or two or three run don't walk because i absolutely love it and i think you're gonna love it too okay next up i want to talk about these because a lot of times when you go on vacation um even if you're doing a staycation you might do some self-care i put on here expert eye hair tweezers. Okay. These ones, I'm going to try to put this up. If you can see, they've got like a kind of a crisscross, crisscross applesauce. Um, they have this like crisscrossy thing here, um, for grip. Okay. For grip. I think you will get your hairs with this one. Everybody has a preference. Some people like these ones. Some people like, um, ones that are not so, um, I guess, jagged at the edges. Um, sometimes they're rounded. These ones are pretty like pointed. If you can see that there's, um, they're pretty pointed on this side of them. So they're really sharp right there, but they're going to dig in. Okay. This is Revlon. Like I said, you can see the little Revlon right there. And I really, really like these ones. Um, what you won't find on vacation is probably tweezers. <laughs> like you might pay like $15 for some tweezers in the hotel gift shop. Um, and I personally am like, yeah, no. Hey, Susie Lee. Oh my gosh. Let me put you on the screen. Hey, Susie Lee. How are you? Tell me if you have any questions. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, uh, but these are the Revlon ones that I have on the screen. They're only five ninety eight. If you leave these on break, like somewhere on vacation, then at least you had them while you were there. Right. But you're not going to like, you're not running out to the CVS or the Walgreens or whatever, like to get them. So just get them now, right? If you need to get two of them. So you have one at home and one in your travel bag. Um, another thing that I think is really important is make a pretty mover. And I swear by this one. Um, it is the, and I'm trying to find it on here to make sure you see it on the screen. This is the origins well off. You can see like I put on, there is not very much left. I need to reorder this. I've ordered this like four times in the last year, but I always talk about it. This is makeup remover. I love it. Love it. Love it. You will see me talk about it almost, almost every episode. Um, but this one is really good. It says well off fast and gentle. eye makeup remover. This is 
a gem. And I think that it does probably one of the best jobs I've ever seen take makeup off. Um, that one I think is really key. If you have like you're going clubbing, you're doing a lot of stuff, your makeup's probably running down your face. You need that to get all the extra gunk off. Um, something else that I think is really fun for staycation. And let me just pull it out for you. It's called the Comfy Junior. Um, and it's on the screen right now. I got this for my kids. Okay. So <laughs> I can't even get it. I can't even get the whole thing into the picture. But this is the hoodie. Look at this. Like it is the softest, the softest got the hoodie and it's like Batman. It is so big. Okay. And I can't even back up because I'm right against the wall, but this is like, this is the most comfiest thing. If you're looking for something that you're going to like, and I don't even know the size of this one, but this is like my three-year-old swims in this. It's got a little pouch on the front. Let me pull it over a little pouch on the front. It says comfy. Um, and you can put both, uh, and you go all the way through. Right. So comfy is is like the best word for it. Um, it is $39.99 or 30. Yeah. $39.99 right now. But this thing is like, and you can see it, it's, it's, it's so huge, but it's beautiful. My three-year-old, my five-year-old use this when they don't want to like, like if they just want to be in like jammies and they just want to like comfy up and you don't want to be in like a blanket, this is the blanket. Right. And it's got these arms with this on the end. So you can see that's got the like the cuffy at the end. It's absolutely amazing. Even if you're not going to use it as like a staycation thing for your kids, you could use it as like a, a present or something for Christmas. Okay. This is absolutely fabulous. Um, I would recommend it to anybody who has kids or wants to get it for themselves. You can get it for yourself too. All right. The other one that I wanted to put up on the screen is the Amazon gift card because I always put it in and I think that... <laughs> You can gift yourself for, for the holidays. You can gift yourself, get yourself an Amazon gift card. Um, one of the things that I think is really important, um, this is a book and I brought a few books into my list. I need to grab it really quickly. So do not go anywhere. It's called, it looks so cozy. Yes, it does, Susie. Um, this one is actually by my friend. Her name's Eva Ladare and it's called Happy New Day, a 40 day guide to a happier healthier life. And this is literally, um, you go through and it's got, it's got pages, but there's also like places where you're writing inside of the book. This one, I always feel like, um, you need a little self time, right? During the holidays. Oh, wait a second. Susie Lee said, those are my favorite tweezers. Ah, good. I'm so excited. Okay. And then she said, look so cozy. Um, okay. So this one is 507. So it's not even a huge price for this book, but it's giving you 40 day guide. So if you start, you know, getting healthy and happy with this guide, um, during your spring break travels, you're like on the right track for the rest of 2023. So pick this one up. I also put on, um, <laughs> I put on a few books and I'm going to just show you this one. Like I said, sometimes people are trying to find things to do with their kids over the holiday break. And this one is pretty good. It's called a craft a day. This is heavy. This is a heavy book. This one, it is, this is a, this is like, it's, it's pretty substantial, but it's, it's thick. It's a craft a day. You can see, I'll just pull up in one craft. It, this is like a cloud t-shirt, right? You're making a craft a day. So if you're looking for something that is going to keep you busy, busy, or keep them busy, this is it. It's a big, thick book and it's easy to pronounce craft a day. That's what you're going to do with it. And I absolutely love it. If you're looking for something for your kids to be kept busy during the holiday season or during, um, the travel season over spring break. That's your, that's, that's your go-to. Um, another one that I have on here, um, that I absolutely love is my book <laughs> and it's, it's really cheap, but it is going to help you figure out your passion in life, um, and how to make that into, um, you know, a career move for yourself. If you can do what you are passionate about, I always think that that's beneficial. It's called Passion Pipeline, and this is what it looks like. Um, passion is the first word, but pipeline is actually an acronym for um, practice, sorry, practice inventiveness, uh, pursue excitement, live inspired, 
and negotiate energy. So this one is a really, really quick read, but it has some writing for notes at the back. This one could be really fun for the spring break travel. If you're just trying to like map out the next goal in your life, this one is really good. It's called Passion Pipeline and it's actually on sale on Amazon right now. Um, let me know which one is your favorite so far. Um, there's so many that I have on this list. Let me try to get to all of them. Um, another one, if you're flying on a plane, this one's really good for activities. Let me grab this one for you. It's an airplane activity book. I'm just going to grab them all because I didn't have them on my desk. This one is called an airplane activity book. This one is for kids between four and eight. And I, I got this for our upcoming travels, but we actually did one of these with my other daughter. And it has everything from like connect the dots to um, drawings of actual airplanes um, to, you can see some of this is already done, to uh, mazes and get yourself to get your um, flight attendant to the, to the airplane. This is a really fun one. There's also things in here with having to do with uh, Sudoku and matching. So my kids have already done the matching. Um, but this is a really good one to keep people busy, um, especially if you have kids between four and eight years old. Um, this one, I just put it on the screen. It's $5.99. I think this is a really fun one because it teaches kids about planes too, um, especially if you don't have a kid who's ever been on a plane during the traveling season. This could be really fun. Um, another one that I love because Easter is coming up, um, it's one called... Happy Easter Mouse. And I'm trying to find it because I know I put it on here. It's $6.30 right now, but it's the cutest Easter book. So if you're looking for an Easter book, um, because Easter is right at the end of our spring break, at least for LAUSD, um, it's really, really cute. And it's it's a board book, so it's for younger kids, but I really, really love it. So try it out for your kids if you're trying to have more of an Easter bunny kind of conversation. Um, that one's really fun. Another Another thing that you'll probably, I don't see it right now. I had it on my desk, but I definitely have it on my nails. Um, it's the OPI Bubblegum. This is OPI Bubblegum. And I don't do nails, so this is actually really pretty for me that I actually got them done um, today putting this on. Um, but it's like a pink bubblegum. Um, so I put it onto the screen. This is actually $12.99. Um, so it's on a little bit of a sale, but I love pink for the holidays and for um, the upcoming travel. And the reason that I love it is because it's kind of like a classic, like if it comes off in like the ocean, you know, you're not like with like a blue nail or a red nail or something like that. I always feel like darker colors, like if they start chipping off, it's just really, really distracting. Um, so go with like the neutral, like the light bubble come pink, but that's OPI that I put up there. Um, and I know we're running out of time. We only have about eight more minutes left. Tell me if you have any thoughts about any of these uh, products or if one of them is your favorite. Another thing is traveling in the car. Sometimes people are doing spring break traveling in the car. And I wanted to pull out one that was The World of Eric Carl. Now, I always like Eric Carl because the books are amazing, the illustration amazing. This one is called um, Around the Farm, Eric World of Eric Carl. Eric Carl around the farm. And this one has sounds. So if you click on, oops, if you click on them, fish. the fish one, or this is owl, owl, right? So it says the word and then of the animal or the name of the animal. And then it actually has the sound. So this one is a uh, horse. Horse. Right. And then you've got the story inside, right? I absolutely love this because it keeps your kids while they're traveling in the car engaged and listening and, you know, you know, making up stories about animals. Like I absolutely love this one. This one is um, on sale too. Right now it is 1157. So if you're watching this at a replay, it might be a different price. So I would snag this one if you're doing any traveling in the car, especially if your kids are not getting car sick, this is a good one. Um, and then also one of my other favorite books, if you're doing a staycation, or even if you wanted a book to take with you, that's not, um, I would say not too heavy in the sense of like uh, heavy content. Um, but I know this happens when people are in the same room with, you know, with each other all over, you know, a long period of time. 
on vacation and people get grumpy. <laughs> so I put the pout pout fish on here. If you have not read this book, this I'm going to try to put it on the screen. The pout pout fish is one of my favorite all time books and I can't seem to find it on my list here. Um, there it is. It's only $4.98 right now. This one is the best story. And especially since it's got this imagery. And I feel like when kids during holidays or during spring break or whatever are just on each other like, ah, it's mine, that's mine, it's not yours, whatever. You can talk about the pout pout fish and how to turn that frown upside down. This is one of the best books that I found to really illustrate that kind of process. Um, so if you're looking for something to help your kids not be like this, that's a really good one. Um, okay. What have I not talked about? Sometimes when you're on a break, you need something that's going to keep your mind like focused, right? So I actually put on my list, a book of puzzles. And I don't know if you like puzzles or, um, you know, crossword puzzles or anything like that, but I put on a French words puzzle book this is what it looks like. It's literally just French words in there. Um, so if you if you want to be challenged, this is kind of a hard book, um, but it does keep you going. So if you're like, oh, I'm kind of bored and I need something to do, crossword puzzles are really good for stimu stimulating your brain, learning something new. If you're trying to like figure out what you wanted to do during that break time, this might be something that you want to, you see my ring light in there, um, that you want to get going, right? If you just want something extra um, or, and it's got all the answers in the back too. So <laughs> if you're struggling on one of them, it will help you out too. Um, this is one that I actually think is really cool to, you know, add to your repertoire of what you do during your holiday breaks, um, just to keep your mind going and keep it really like fresh. All right. This is one you probably didn't think you'd see on my episode. Um, and it is one that I actually think is really important if you have kids and they are potty training. And that is if you go to an Airbnb during your travel, if you are um, traveling to a hotel, a lot of times people like take those like porta potties and things like that. I just think that this is the best thing to take to put on the seat. Okay. And this is, I'm literally going to show you what our potty, uh, our potty chair looks like. Um, if I can pull, find it on this uh, list of things, um, it's called the baby Bajorn. And I put it on there. It's $34.99. And I wanted to make sure that you saw exactly how it looks um, because it is literally the best potty chair I've ever seen, had in my house. This is it. You want to take this with you because your kids will thank you because every single time you're at either like an Airbnb and you're like, mama, I have, I'm going to fall in or whatever. Right. Or at a hotel and you just want them to feel like they're comfortable, like they can go to the bathroom on their own. It's not something that is going, like you put this in like a paper bag or whatever to travel with it. You're not going to hold it or whatever. And yes, I washed it before I picked it up. Um, but this is the best one I've ever had. And I want you to know, baby Bjorn, this is amazing. It's amazing. Both of my kids have used it. And I feel like sometimes potty training is the most frustrating experience. And if you can make it better for anybody else out there, tell them about this. Okay. And especially if you're traveling and you want to have people not feel like that's like the next part of like the horrible travel experiences. I can't go to the bathroom because it's not my bathroom or I can't go to the bathroom because it's not my potty training uh, seat. Get two of these. I had two of these. We had a two bedroom apartment. I had one in each bathroom. Um, and then you, you know, if you need to hang it on something when somebody, an adult is actually, you know, in the bathroom, then you can. All right. Another thing that you can keep your kids really, really um, uh, engaged with is costumes. If you need costumes, this is one of the best ones because if you're staycationing, you can get out of this world, right? This one is super cool. It comes in this like plastic um, uh, hanging bag um, and it has a little hat with it, but it's NASA, it looks like, and it's super cute. So if you feel like, oh my gosh, my kids aren't going anywhere for the holiday and they're on spring break, they can go wherever they want because they're making it up. It's their imagination and this helps them. If you need like costume ideas, definitely send me a message, but this is something that will help them take their vacation to another place. And last but not least, because we're running out of time, is this dress that I absolutely love. Um, 
because it's the spring and I want you guys to feel like you're in the spring with me. Um, it's a Grace Karen dress. It has, a, it's kind of like a, a retro, oops, a retro kind of looking dress um, in the sense that it's really, really special in that um, flowery sense. I love the flowers. And then it's got this tiny, tiny, itty bitty waisted belt that goes here, but it's like a full circle skirt. It's a full circle skirt. So I just put it on there. It's 32 or 38 99. I love this dress and it's forgiving for me. It's forgiving because I never really like my arms. Like I'm like, ah, but you know what? In this dress, it's a statement. It is a full, let me stand up a little. It is a full and I'll back up so you can see a little bit more. It's a full, like almost a full circle skirt um, with these like really tapered arms and then this belt that goes into the middle that gets that cinch of the waist and it does have a zip up in the back i love this dress um and i think that they have a few different colors um as well and it's when you look at this it's like it's it gives just a little bit um so i absolutely love it and i hope you love it too that's all of the time we have for tonight. I hope that you found something that was really, really great that you can take on your travel essentials. I did talk about in my uh, product list, I did put some cotton balls um, and Jouer lip enhancer. There's a few other ones that I think are really essential that are smaller items that you can just throw in your bag for your travel. Um, but if you are doing a staycation and need something for your kids, or if you are doing that travel thing, um, I gave you a few ideas of what you can um, throw in your bag. The last but not least, I know that I'd said that before. Last but not least is um, you want to make sure that you have, oh, here they are. Let me make sure that I show you what they look like. These are the rest of the items that are on there. Boom. These are the hair ties. This is the Jouer Lip Enhancer. This is the VO5. Oops. We'll do it this way. VO5 styling wax. <laughs> and then I use this tonight on my hair. So you can see it's got a little shine. Um, the Beyond the Zone, uh, turn up the heat to protect your hair. Um, you can do that. Um, oops. You can do that one. And then the last that I'll spotlight on this is a book for really great reading. Um, if you're trying to find a book for your holiday reading, um, you could probably get through this one. This one is Anna, the biography. Um, and I, I think this is a great read. It's by Amy O'Dell and it's only 1895. I believe it's a New York times bestseller as well. Um, so check it out, check out the Anna book. I love fashion books. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, I'm doing another one. I think I'm trying to do Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I will see you guys very soon. Click through on all the links, uh, to save them into your cart. Even if you don't buy them now, definitely add them to your cart so you can save them for later. Um, and I'll see you guys later. My name is Sandra and, uh, thanks for joining.